Good evening, and welcome to another Mike's Fun Page beer review. First off, I like to start and uh, tell you guys I got a couple emails I've been reading over. Um, I have a couple ideas coming up. I'm gonna be working on some projects for beer reviews and some other stuff. So I've just been real busy with work. I haven't really had a chance. Um, was down in Florida for a couple weeks. Um, down in Cocoa Beach. Um, down with uh, it, you know family and uh, got to have some fun and go to Disney. So I've been busy with was busy with that on family vacation and uh, haven't really had a chance to make any videos. So this is the first video. Uh, it's October. It's starting to get cold up here around Philly area. Um, so I want to get started. Uh, before I start. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to email me at Mike's Fun Page at Hotmail.com or you can contact me via the YouTube page. Uh, well, recently I bought a case of good old Coors Original, the Banquet Beer. Now, Coors has been around a long time. It's one of the big three of the good old American adjunct vlogger you know, mass producers in the area, um, in the United States, I should say. Um, they're out of Golden, Colorado. Uh, they're very gimmicky with the wide mouth cans and the uh, blue activate. Now they have all these aluminum garbage, you know, whatever. This is a good old can. It's the way I usually drink beer, so that's how I got it. It says, uh, when the mountains turn blue, it's as cold as the Rockies. Yeah, well. This beer is probably about 34 to 36 degrees it's in a good old mini fridge. Um, it's 5% ABV, so it's right up there. Um, I've had this before, so I mean, recently, as I just bought it, uh, it's not that bad. It's actually, I like it better than Bush. I like it better than Budweiser. It's kind of similar, it's just a little cleaner, but we'll get into the review. Um, 5% uh, ABV and forget it. this is the okay nothing else on there I'm starting to ramble on here alright let's get started I have a good old Plankos oh I know what I wanted to say um, this beer actually is the same people that uh, brew uh, Blue Moon and um, Keystone I believe is Coors now also so they, you know, they have a pretty decent selection of beers, of course, Brewing Company. Well, I'm going to get started with this one. A little bit rusty. It's been a few weeks. Well, first thing that I see smells good. I can already smell it. Um, vial carbonation, a little heavy. It looks a lot cleaner than... It almost looks a little less filtered maybe than like a Budweiser or a Bush. But it barely has any head on it. Maybe a pinky nail and it's already going away. No lace, it's dropping considerably when it hits a side of glass. So I would say that's a uh, you know, light yellow, maybe a pale American adjunct beer color, pale piss yellow, maybe. Let's give it a smell. Uh, it's got a slight like a mile, mile, mile for for an American beer, it smells very good. I, I'm getting a faint hop smell, which is surprising because usually you don't smell them when these American beers, like your Budweisers and your um, Bushes and all them. But slight hoppy smell. You get that ricey American adjunct ricey smell. Uh, I smell maybe like some, it's like a bready smell, well, let's give it a taste and see, it's Coors, it 
Yeah, it's um, has like a grainy cereal, grainy taste. This one's probably more closer to a Budweiser. Um, it just doesn't have that like a Budweiser. You get like a real heavy duty aftertaste. This doesn't really have it. This is real clean, smooth. got like a barley-ish like bitterness like a mild bitterness to it I mean I mean it's hard to say that these that you can taste the hops in an American beer because you really it's not like you know it's not like your your Dutch beers or your German beers where you can actually taste them I mean this is pretty clean at the aftertaste You know what it is, though. It's a good, it's a good dinner beer. If you had to pick, I mean, this is like in that. Um, I hate to keep comparing it, but I'm comparing it to like a Budweiser and a Miller. This is probably the best out of all the canned American beers in that same price spectrum. I would say, yeah, that I would classify this as a decent dinner beer. So. Coors original out of a pint glass. Pretty good. I'm gonna rate this thing. Let me get a couple more sips in here. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I'll give it a. Uh, I use the A to F. If you've seen any of my videos, you know it's the the rating system that I use. Uh, I'm gonna give it a B minus. It's better than Bush. A little more money than Bush. I'm not a big Budweiser fan. I've well reviewed that. I don't know. I can't really get past the to get that aftertaste, but I like it better than Budweiser. It's pretty good. So I'm gonna give it a B minus. That's Coors original in a can. I'm gonna finish this off. Pardon me. That's been another Mike's Fun Page beer review. That was Coors Original on a pint glass. If you want to contact me, feel free to hit me up via the YouTube page. Mike's Fun Page. You obviously have seen any of the videos. You know how to hit me up via the YouTube page. Or you can contact me via Hotmail. Mike's Fun Page at Hotmail.com And again, thanks for being patient. Like I said, I was off a couple of weeks and... I got some ideas that I'm coming up with, maybe to do some other stuff other than just the regular old beer reviews, and maybe add some other stuff other than beer reviews. So just stick by, check whip, check back every once in a while, and you never know, you might see something new on the page. If you subscribe, you'll get updates every time I add something. Again, thanks for watching. Have a good one.